Salesman lets you integrate Zapier with hundreds of other apps to automate your work. It lets you connect with various web apps like Gmail, Google Sheets, Slack, Gravity Forms, etc. automating your day-to-day -day work and allowing you to easily move data between different apps without having to code. The data can be transferred from Zasement to Zapier and vice versa using the bidirectional integration. Zap consists of triggers and actions. A trigger is an event that starts a zap. Once you turn on a zap, Zapier will monitor for that trigger event. Only one trigger is allowed per zap, which always needs to be the first step. The available triggers for Salesmiths are new contact, company, activity, or deal, update a record, new note added to a record, new user created or deactivated. An action is an event a zap performs after it is triggered. You can have one or more actions depending on what's needed to complete a particular flow. These actions could be to create a record, search a record, create or search a record, add a note, add a user, select random user, search for total rows of the record or search a user. To configure the integration, navigate to your profile icon and go to setup. Select apps under apps and add-ons. Here you will be presented with installed apps and available apps to install within Salesman. Go to Zapier under the installed apps and click on configure to configure the app. Here you will find the list of pre-built apps to connect your favorite apps with Salesman. You can use the given examples or can just create one from scratch depending on your requirements. Click on create from scratch to start building your first app. We'll create a app to add the data into spreadsheet every time a new contact is added in SalesMed. Start by selecting the trigger app. As per our example, it would be SalesMed and the event would be new contact. Click on continue and connect the preferred SalesMed account. Click on continue again and you will be asked to test the trigger. Click on it and you will be presented with the latest contact that was added in your SalesMed account. If you do not get any test trigger result, you can go back to SalesMed account, create a new contact and come back to Zapier page, refresh the test trigger and you should be able to view the contact that was just added. Verify the test trigger sample and click on continue. Now moving further to the actions. Let's choose an app and event for the action now. Looking into our example, the app for the action would be Google Sheets and create spreadsheet row would be an event. Let's move further by connecting a preferred Google account to flow your CSMIT data into spreadsheet. Once done, you can choose either to store data into your Google Drive or can select the custom fields. For now, let's select the Google Drive. Select the preferred spreadsheet and the worksheet. Map the fields that you would like to flow the data from. Make sure all the required fields are properly mapped. Now click on continue and you will be presented with the latest contact added in SalesMed which should be added to the given spreadsheet. If you are happy with the given sample, you can go ahead and click on test trigger to see if the data in spreadsheet is getting added properly. Now if you are satisfied with the selected triggers and action, you can go ahead and publish the app. It will get live and will start flowing the SalesMed data to the Google spreadsheet every time the new contact has been created in SalesMed.
On the top right of the Zapier web page, you get an option of an outline which gives you the basic details of the particular Zap. Under settings, you can give a Zap name, add it to an appropriate folder and add a relative description to it. Zapier gives you an option to save your Zap as a draft if you are still unsure of publishing it live which would be saved under versions. You can also view the Zaps that were published live here. Under Zap history, you can view the history as per the selected time period. With the preferred Zap, an app and the particular folder, then click on refresh and it will show you all the history according to the selected option. Details give you the overview of that particular Zap task usage, the Zap runs, and the change of the history, if any. Zapier also provides with the guide to help you understand how to create a Zap as per your selected trigger and action. Let's go to the home page and select Create Zap. But this time, to add the data of your Google Spreadsheet to the Seasmet account every time the new contact has been added in Spreadsheet. We'll start by selecting the trigger app, which would be the Google Sheet and the event will be new spreadsheet row and click on continue. Connect the preferred account and set a trigger by selecting the preferred spreadsheet and worksheet. Click on refresh fields to refresh the fields or can just click on continue. Click on the test trigger to verify the data. If the data fetch looks fine, you can go ahead and click on continue. Now further moving to action, the app for the action would be seismic and the event will be search or create spreadsheet row. And click on continue. Connect the preferred seismic account and again click on continue. Select the field name to search the contact. Choose any unique fields that can make your search easy. For example, you can choose the ID, email, phone number or any others of your choice. For now, we'll choose email for the select field. Map the field that you would like to carry out search with, which again would be an email. Now you can choose to consider the next step to be success if nothing was found by performing the search. If you select yes, it will just skip the step and move to the next step. And if you select no and tick create seismic search contact if it doesn't exist yet, it will allow you to create a new contact in seismic. Make sure to map all the required fields. You can also choose to remove the extra fields that are not needed to be used. Once selecting the option, you can go ahead to test trigger. If the sample results looks fine, you can go ahead and publish this app. Now moving to the home page again, quickly rename this app that we just published live. At times, lead providers need a URL to post leads to a CRM. With webhooks by Zapier, it is possible to post lead data to a URL and thereafter add them as seismic contacts. Please note that webhooks by Zapier is a premium app. Thus, you will need to be subscribed to at least their starter plan, which allows to connect with three premium apps. We'll start by selecting the trigger app, which would be webhooks by Zapier and the event would be catch a hook. As per the setup trigger, leave the pick of a child key blank and click continue. Copy the unique webhook URL generated for your account and share it with your lead provider. Your lead provider can post their request to this URL. Let's assume the lead provider is pushing data at regular intervals to the URL and has pushed one recently. Click on test the trigger to verify the data. Further, moving to action. 
select app for the action which for now would be seismet and the event would be search or create contact connect the preferred seismet account configure the select field and the required map field to perform the search and move further to repeating the steps as per the previous example Once done, test the trigger. If the sample record looks good, can go ahead and publish this app. This is how you can integrate your favorite apps with SalesMate using Zapier as per your requirements. Subscribe to the SalesMate YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on our new features, releases, and insightful videos.